Hey guys, Tarios here, and today I'm going to be doing a new segment I like to call Tarios Reviews, which I'll be reviewing and showing some gameplay footage of a game. The game I'll be reviewing today is going to be Primal Carnage Extinction, which, if anyone who doesn't know, this is basically the follow-up to the original Primal Carnage. It was supposed to be a uh, patch for the original game, but the developers realized that their old engine wasn't going to support everything, so they had to make an entirely new game. So, let's get this started. I bought Extinction at the beginning of January, and whenever I played it, I played about an hour of it. The game was a completely broken mess. It was ridiculous. The tyrants were completely overpowered. Every human moved at a thousand miles an hour, so you had a hard time catching up to them and killing them if you were a dinosaur. And most of all was the uh, vacuum mouth of the Spino and uh, T-Rex, where you just couldn't escape it. When I saw that Extinction had left early access, it was now fully released here. And in just a couple of months after it had been completely broken, I was kind of expecting to play it and it'd be uh, still a complete and broken mess. But honestly, I was completely surprised that it would actually was better than the original. For starters, the graphics look a lot better. You'll be able to see it here in the video, but uh, anytime you see a dinosaur on fire, it is a hell of a lot better than it looked in the first game. Not to mention that uh, they've basically redone almost all the maps, fixed a couple balancing problems with them. But the main thing they did with the maps is uh, added more foliage and stuff where it just looks uh, a lot more realistic. One of the big things they did with Extinction was they rebalanced all the classes. For instance, here in the video you can see me playing the Dillo. And anyone who played the original Primal Carnage knew that the Dillo was completely worthless because it had been nerfed into the ground and they decided that they didn't want the whole uh, messy screen being on there for too long. But, like, for instance, in Extinction, uh, if you get spit on, you're going to be uh, blind for about 20 seconds, which... Uh, uh, brings the Dillo up where it needs to be, and uh, also uh, the spit range. Although it's not realistic, it, you can shoot so you can snipe someone from across the map with it. So uh, dinosaurs finally have the range class they need if uh, a bunch of people are camping. And uh, there's also the uh, tyrant Dillo, the cryo or something. And uh, what it does is it spits complete acid, where uh, it won't blind you for very long, but if uh, if it hits you or if it hits anywhere near you, you're going to be taking splash damage. And if you're standing on it, you're going to be taking uh, acid damage, which uh, stops a lot of the camping. The Raptor and Pterodon have also been rebalanced. Uh, Pterodon's basically easier to grab people now and a little bit easier to control, although it's still kind of a pain in the ass. It takes a while to learn. I recorded some footage of me uh, being Pterodon, but... I didn't include it because it was so awful. Uh, as for the Raptor, they basically uh, redid the uh, pounce mechanic on it. So just right click and you basically have to hold right click and let go. And uh, your Raptor will pounce towards the marker. Also, a single pounce uses all your uh, stamina now. So uh, if, you're, if you're even a tiny bit low on stamina, you won't be able to kill someone at full health with a single pounce which uh, makes it easier for humans to escape. It's no longer the cheap kill like it was in the first game. The human team has basically gotten a whole rebalancing. For instance, all the humans now have secondary weapons instead of just the trapper and the and the scientist. Uh, for instance, Commando and Pathfinder now a Desert Eagle secondary weapon that they can use long range. And the Pyro has a flare gun along with all the humans now have a uh, basically a roar ability kind of I got for instance the uh, trapper will throw down a landmine or uh, the commando and scientists they have uh, health kits and ammo kits they can throw down that they can use in a pinch with all the rebalancing it, the uh, humans are actually a lot more funner to play now instead of uh, like the last game where sometimes you wanted to play human but the majority of the time you wanted to play dinosaur but now with uh, all the options all the classes have uh, it's a lot more funner to play humans now while the game is pretty balanced I'd consider there I mean there are a few underpowered overpowered things if you played the first game you know the Pathfinder was overpowered He's still overpowered in this one. They did nerf the number of flares he uh, he can carry, but the shotgun's still a one-hit kill. 
and uh, anyone who's been playing Carno in the new game knows that you don't want to play Carno. It, you end up getting killed really quickly, and uh, you don't do a whole lot of damage. You're just better off playing one of the smaller dinosaurs or just going full-blown T-Rex or Spino. Also, just want to mention that the uh, developers have basically gotten rid of the humans jumping around to uh, avoid the dinosaur shit, which is completely ridiculous in the first game. So now the game looks a lot better without seeing that, and it's a lot more balanced without that being part of what all the pro players did. A couple new game modes were also added into Extinction, like Dino uh, Deathmatch, where it's basically dinosaurs versus dinosaurs. And uh, also role play was added, and if you played the original game, you know how toxic that was. But uh, it, with uh, even with that, the majority of servers are still running uh, team deathmatch like the normal game, and it, the other half of the servers are running role play. There's uh, one or two servers that run uh, get to the chopper and uh, dino deathmatch, but they're rarely uh, full. Uh, right now, because the game's brand new, there's a huge influx of new players, which helps uh, make the community less toxic, but as time goes on, it might be harder to find a server and uh, uh, actually get a non-roleplay game going. So uh, hopefully that's not the case, but in maybe hindsight, I guess that's the word I'm looking for, it's uh, possible this could turn into... Uh, just like the uh, older Primal Carnage game. Speaking of a toxic community, uh, when you think toxic communities, one of the first things you think of is TF2, do the whole hats thing. Well, the developers decided to take a page out of TF2's book and add their own little hats and crates into the game. Uh, well, I didn't touch on this before, but one of the things that annoyed me the most with the... Uh, with the new game was that they decided to uh, change the uh, scientists commando and pathfinders uh, default uniforms where all three of them are green now so it can be a little hard to tell them apart but once you start adding uh, hats and crap into the mix it becomes a huge clusterfuck to tell them apart and uh, nothing breaks the game more than uh, well not it wouldn't break the game it just break the immersion of the game is uh, Seeing someone dressed up like Santa Claus, saying, yes, there is a Santa Claus outfit in the game. Or, uh, regularly you see, uh, dinosaurs wearing rave earmuffs, which is just completely ridiculous. Hopefully the community smartens up and decides that the whole game shouldn't revolve around this crap, but with what early access was, I doubt that's gonna happen. It'll probably turn into an even worse version of TF2, uh, sooner or later. All this would probably be made worse by the fact that uh, roleplay has such a uh, huge dominance on the uh, server listening to. Now let's talk about bugs. Earlier when I said that I didn't think the game was going to be ready, and, and like I said I was surprised that it actually was ready, I mean I still expected a few smaller bugs, and to be perfectly honest the bugs that are in the game are small. And, uh, the few big bugs that there are, they really don't detract from the game. Uh, I'm just going to name a few here. Uh, the Desert Eagles for uh, Pathfinder and, um, and Commando, uh, they have a uh, reloading problem where if you hit a R and it won't play the animation, it won't say it's reloaded, but it will be reloaded. So it'll say you'll have zero bullets and then you'll start firing. And oh, now you have six bullets when the normal click size is seven. That actually happens quite regularly. Uh, if you watch the T-Rex section of this video, you could see that elevators don't work that great. What I kind of noticed after this uh, match was that once uh, once you're on the elevator, you don't want to have your head or uh, basically any part of your hitbox where it goes through the uh, metal gratings because you'll basically get knocked off. And then I've played one match where the elevator wasn't working for anyone. It didn't matter what you did, humans and dinosaurs. There's also a... Uh, if you look closely at any time I'm playing a different class, the first time you hit any th anyone, any kind of enemy, with any kind of, if you're stepping on them, if you're shooting them, throwing a Molotov at them, 
there's like a short window of lag, and it only happens on the first hit the for whenever you change classes, but hopefully they get that fixed soon. There's uh, also the uh, crazy lags bug, which is actually really funny. I don't know what causes it, but what happens is uh, basically whenever uh, someone's running around, uh, it's basically using the crouch legs, so their legs are either crab-like or they're just fl flip and flopping all over the place. But that really doesn't really affect gameplay very much. Uh, the uh, biggest problem is the rubber banding in the game. Basically, what happens is uh, you're uh, like you'll be running around on one of those steel platforms in this video for let's just say a minute. You're just going around in circles. You're going around in circles. And then rubber banding happens, and suddenly you're on the first floor. Uh, if you're watching the, uh, whenever I'm playing the T-Rex, you can see me kind of jerking around every once in a while, where I'm going straight, and suddenly I'll be back, like five steps and two steps to the right, two steps, well, five steps back, two steps to the right. Uh, I got a uh, basically a clip here of the pterodon, and pterodons are really the worst uh, class that it happens on, where. Uh, Basically what happens is uh, I swoop down and suddenly I'm back up top. And the weird thing is like it'll still register your hits and stuff so you can swoop down, kill someone, and then the next second you'll be back at the top of the skybox, which is really weird. So uh, here's the clip of that. And for the bug that drives me the most bonkers, uh, basically if you even have a little bit of lag in the game, something in the netcode basically screws up and... Uh, messes up the raptor's pounce. So if you get a little bit of lag, you're going to have to restart the game, or anytime you try to pounce as the raptor, you're not going to go anywhere. It'll play the animation. It doesn't matter how far you got the marker away. You're, you'll just play the animation, you'll stand still. So uh, hopefully they get that fixed real soon. And like I said earlier, I mean the game is really well balanced. The bugs are absolutely minor, and uh, honestly, they're because they're so minor and uh, there's so few of them, I expect them to be fixed soon. I mean, I'd really recommend uh, buying this game whenever you get the chance. With since it's brand new, the community's still lively. I mean, like I said er earlier, there's a possibility that once uh, the game's been out for a while, the community could go over to where it was like with the original game, where no one wants to actually play the game. They just want to do that role play crap. But the game's extremely fun. I mean, as you as you saw with the footage here, I know uh, with my uh, Raptor Guide video, people have uh, actually gone to the game just from watching that. But uh, this is the gameplay footage shows this game's extremely fun to play. You'll get quite a few hours of enjoyment out of it, and you'll definitely get your money's worth. So pick it up now if you want to, or uh, you could always get it on sale. I know the summer sales for Steam is going to be coming up pretty soon, but since it's a brand new game, I wouldn't probably expect it to be more than 20% off. So check it out when you get the chance.